Hey guys, Shani here. I am going to teach you um, a little something today about sugar uh, so that you can become a sugar expert because I like details and I think a lot of you guys do too. So let's learn about sugar and what it does to your body and how fructose, which is a different form of sugar, is literal poison. Uh, listen for my podcast that is being released tomorrow about culture and our addiction to sugar. But this is kind of a nice little overview on the explanation of what sugar does to your body. Okay, there are two types of sugars, glucose and fructose. Um, they are recognized by your body very differently. One gives your body energy, the other one poisons it. Now, what do I mean by poison? And what is a poison? A poison is something that if you ingest or take in, it literally causes an organ to fail or inflame or deteriorate. And that's exactly what fructose does to your body. So let's talk about glucose first though. Glucose, when you ingest it, goes into the bloodstream and um, it triggers, first it triggers your hormones to make you feel full. But once it gets into your bloodstream, it can be metabolized um, by your cells and your muscles through insulin. Now, when you intake glucose, your body recognizes glucose, and therefore you have this insulin response. So about 80% of the glucose that you're taking in is metabolized by your cells in the body. The other 20% is metabolized by your liver. Now, a few things happen when it goes into the liver. It goes in, it enters the mitochondria, goes into that um, Krebs cycle, which creates ATP, and most of you know ATP is the energy which all cells live off of. So that glucose goes into the mitochondria, makes ATP, citrate is then spewed out, and then a very small bit of citrate is turned into something called VLDL, which is very low dense lipoprotein. Um, and that very dense lipoprotein then gets pulled out of the liver via enzymes and gets stored as fat. Now, when you are taking, let's say, I'm, I'm just gonna use round terms. You take in 100 calories of glucose, very few calories are turned into fat. Um, so let's talk about fructose now because it's a different story. Oh, not only that, but again, glucose is recognized by insulin. And, it, and like I said before, it switches off your hunger, okay? Fructose does not. So when you take in fructose, um, you feel hungrier because your brain is now super stimulated like a drug, but it doesn't fool you up. You don't feel full, so you can eat more of it. And now here's the kicker. Remember how glucose, 80% of it was used by your cells in your body? With fructose, it is used by zero. It all has to be metabolized by your liver, all of it. No insulin is released when you take in fructose, none, nothing, nada, okay? So you ingest, let's say, a glass of orange juice and you have all this fructose that you're swimming in and it stays in your bloodstream, which creates problems like um, it switches on inflammatory markers and your immune system goes crazy because things are out of whack and homeostasis is thrown off. So now you have inflammation and you have an autoimmune system that is a little angry, but then it gets filtered through your liver. And here is what happens. You have this massive influx of fructose hitting your liver all at once, and it takes a massive amount of energy to metabolize that, to break it down into usable forms. So what happens? Your body uses a surge of ATP, which has to get um, down regulated to ADP, which then has to be balanced out to AMP. So um, TP, DP, um, MP, okay? Now the substrate, the, the, meta, the metabolic waste, I just had to see who's at the door. The metabolic waste of that process is uric acid. Now what does uric acid do? Everybody knows a buildup of uric acid is gout. There's a second thing people aren't aware of. It 
increases hypertension. So blood pressure is raised and you're getting gout and it creates plaque buildup in your arteries because of that blood pressure being raised, okay? So not good things, but, but let's continue. Now, we're breaking down fructose to a more usable form, okay? So that fructose, after all of the ATP being used up and counterbalanced, um, then goes into the mitochondria of the liver, okay? And a whole bunch of citrate is the byproduct of that. So yes, we're making some energy and we're spewing out a whole bunch of citrate. And that citrate does, well, it does multiple things, but two major things that happen is citrate produces um, a metabolic reaction that leads to an enzyme called JNK1, JNK1. JNK1 is pro-inflammatory. Every time you have JNK1, junk one because it really is junk um bad things happen a lot of bad things okay but not only that let's go back to that citrate that got spewed out of that krebs cycle right from the mitochondria all of that citrate all of it because remember all the fructose went into the liver all of it all of that citrate is now being transformed into vldl and that VLDL, that very low dense lipoprotein, which is basically fat, creates fatty liver. And it also creates fat in your body. So a high sugar diet is really a high fat diet, okay? Is this making sense so far? So now an enzyme takes the VLDL out of the liver, floats around in the body, and sticks to where adipose tissue normally sticks, okay? But let's go back. Remember how fructose comes into the liver, lots of um, ATP is being used up to make that fructose usable. There's another thing that happens along the process of that fructose being usable in that Krebs cycle. There is a byproduct, um, it's aldehyde. Now we all know what aldehyde is, right? We use it to preserve cadavers. It's extremely toxic. In fact, it causes a lot of proteins to kind of glue together and break. And so what does that cause? It causes cirrhosis. It causes liver disease. It causes liver malfunction, okay? You never ever want proteins to break and to become compromised because not only does that lead to liver disease, it leads to other diseases like cancers, for instance. So do you see how there's literally nothing good that comes out of fructose? Now think daily how often we are having fructose. We have it in our yogurts, we have it in our orange juice, we have it in our kids' sippy pouches, we have it in goldfish, pretzels, um, hot dogs, we have it in chips, we have it in dips and sauces. When you think of your kids' breakfast in the morning, are they having um, French toast or waffles or pancakes. You're hyperdosing them with fructose. Hyperdosing them. So we're poisoning our, ch our children daily with this toxic substance. And it's causing a whole bunch of imbalance. So I want you guys to look at sugar in a different light. I want you guys to realize that the root of all evil when it comes to nutrition is sugar and we need to take this very seriously because our and again watch my podcast on the cultural norms around sugar but sugar is so normalized and it never should be can you imagine like for instance you're out in public your kid is crying and a kind little grandma offers them a candy to soothe them right this happened to us yesterday when we were signing Tennyson up for school now imagine this, and, and no one bats an eyelid. Cute little grandma giving your child candy, that's so sweet. Can you imagine if that grandma bent over and gave your child a cigarette? Cigarettes are toxic, sugar is toxic. What's the difference? It's the culture, it's the expectations. It's the normalization of this really appealing, really addictive substance that nobody wants to face. But you guys, I want you to face it. I want you to recognize how bad this is for your body.
okay? Sugar should never be normalized. And that's it. That is my truth on sugar today, my little blip of information. I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comments. And, um, and thanks for listening up until 10 minutes. See you guys later.